An easy way to get Ruby on Rails installed on your machine, be it a PC or a Mac, is to use a bundled all-in-one installer package. This will install both Ruby on Rails, the development framework, as well as Ruby, the scripting language upon which Rails depends. And again, it works regardless of PC or Mac platform. I've got here on my screen the most popular Rails installer, which lives at railsinstaller.org. You can download a version appropriate to your operating system. Despite what it says, as you can see there, Rails 3.2, you'll be able to work with Rails 4, which is what we're using. In this case, for me, the Windows version. What you'll get is this Rails installer. And then if I run it, choosing the default options is the way to go. Definitely install Git, the first checkbox, and definitely allow the installation wizard to modify the path so that you can run command line operations. Once you're done, you can check by opening up a command line. If you say Rails space dash V for version, Rails 4.0.2, and similarly for Ruby, Ruby space dash V, and get a Ruby version of 1.9.3. This will allow me to run all the Rails generator operations, the rake operations, all the things we'll get into later in the course, but even to create a new Rails project. I do it from the command line. So having an all-in-one installer like Rails installer, I think makes a lot of sense, regardless of which platform you're working on. But I encourage you to use this for our course.